Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be working on creating our own functions. So alright, when we'll just get started. Here we go. So when we create our own functions we need the keyword def and it's a keyword because it's orange. So we're just gonna create a function that takes in somebody's name and prints it out. So we have to name our function. We're just gonna keep it real simple, name. Now like uh, our predefined functions in Python, they're purple. And they need purple. If they're purple, they need parentheses, right? So just like those functions, our functions have to have parentheses. Now, we're going to do a function that takes in stuff, variables. And then we're going to do a function that doesn't take any. So the first one is going to take in just one variable. And the go-to variable name, x. So don't let that fool you. We'll go over this a couple different ways. So now what we're going to do with this function is we're just going to take in that variable, take in that information, and print it to the screen. So now we're going to use print, the function print, and it, you ha it has to have, if it's purple, it needs parentheses, right? So we hit enter one more time, and it's just going to sit there and say, do you have any more instructions? No. Now, just like we do when we create a variable and we call it, we have to call the function just like it is. So now there it is. It's going to show you now. Let's just so we're just going to take in name and it follows the instructions. It sits here, does what it is expecting to take in, and it comes down here. This is the header, this is the body and then it just does that. Now, this right here isn't exactly accurate. The end user, or the person uh, who didn't write it, doesn't really understand that if they have a name, or their name, anything that isn't a number, that it lives inside a string. So now I'm gonna show you a way to do this by using another function so let's redefine name so it's not going to take in any information it's going to do all the work inside the function so we'll use our same go to variable now input to remind you is a function in python since it's purple and it will print things out to the screen if we want to we could just call an empty function use two parentheses and it wouldn't give a prompt but right now we'll do more with that next time but right now we're going to put information to scr the screen so everybody knows what they're doing enter your name so everything that I'm typing here it will come out exactly like this to the screen it will pause wait for input from the user then continue on to the next line and we're just going and it's see how Python is sitting here saying do we have any more instructions nope we're just going to do these two so we're gonna call the function okay so it says enter your name so then right there it paused waited for input from the user but I'm the user then it's going to take it and come out so let's go over this one more time so this is our header we've got when we're gonna predefine excuse me define our own functions we have to use the keyword def. So that tells Python, hey, everything after this, this is going to do, have to do with a function. So then you have your name of the function, and you have to have your parentheses. And in this case, we took in information. And whatever information we were to put in there, these are the instructions that it does with that, with that information. Now here, same type setup, but no information is given. So when we call it, like up here, when we called our function, we had to give it one bit of information. And here, this time, we didn't have to give it any bit of information. It did all, it did all the work, taking information in inside the function, and then doing following the instructions and doing this right here. So, all right. Hope that uh, hope you got something out of that. Next time, we are going to do more with for loops and uh, taking in information and maybe a little bit with lists and for loops. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.